Hello, boys. What can we do you for? I'm the sheriff around here. Maybe you can help us, sheriff. Please to try after you uh, shut off those engines. Looking for a man named Nick Randolph. Why? He's a lawbreaker. You boys, uh, bounty hunters? Something like that. I get arrest warrants from the Wyoming State Police on a daily basis. I haven't seen any outstanding warrants for Nick Randolph. He's too smart to get busted by ordinary cops. That's why we're here to get him. That could be kidnapping. Break the law. You find this town a very inhospitable place. Inhospitable? Sheriff, I can dig the fact that you want to uphold the law, but that doesn't change the situation. We're here to get Nick Randolph and give him his due. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the town limits. Hey! There he is! Foster. Long live Kate Foster! Long live Kate Foster! In 1564, Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Kate Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Quatrain 54, Century 7. Iron horses blaze a vengeful trail, the first of many to follow. The method must be chartered, and liberty will fall. Residents of Crestline, Wyoming, say a biker gang killed a man named Nick Randolph. But authorities haven't come up with a body. Could the gang's motorcycles be the iron horses of the Nostradamus Quatrain? Time to rev up the investigation. You work here? Who are you? Uh, hey, 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 take it easy. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to show you some ID. What are you doing here? Name's Dylan Chase. I'm a magazine writer. Heard you're having some trouble with some bikers down here in Crestline. My editor thought maybe I should check it out. Independent biker. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't have anything to say. Let me guess. You let your gun do the talking. I've lived here my entire life and never seen anything like it. These apostles, they've taken this town hostage. That's what I heard. They're hellraisers. They chased Nick Randolph down the street. Rumor has it they killed him and buried the body somewhere. <sighs> Did you know this, Mr. Randolph? Sure, I knew him. Nick was no harm to anyone. Real sweet man. And what about the state police? 
Our sheriff's department is only two people. The sheriff's a good man, but he's outnumbered. The bikers swoop in, beat people up, tear apart their homes and businesses, then just disappear. I've worked too hard to let them tear down my store. It's a nice store. Thank you. What are these? Quartz crystals. The foothills in this region are full of them. In fact, Nick Randolph worked for a company that mines crystals. They're pretty. I sell them to tourists. We get a lot of New Agers. You said the bikers swoop down on the town. Where do you think they're swooping down from? My guess is they've got some kind of base camp above town. You got a map? Hmm. There are three towns above us off Route 234. Blue Jay, Clarenville, and Denison Creek. Tell me a little about these towns. A lot like Crestline. Woods on either side. Denison Creek and Blue Jay are dry. And they'll be near Clarenville. Why? They'll want to be next to supplies. Beer. Now, there's an area right here just east of Clarenville. Barren landfill site. They call it the Devil's Wasteland. Hmm. Sounds like a beautiful place to spend the afternoon. You going alone? Yeah. They're dangerous. It's okay. I'm a writer. Pen is mightier than the sword. Magazine writer, I'm looking to do a story for independent biker. State your name. Dylan Chase. Identification? Whoa. Dylan Chase. Oh, well, looks legit. Hey, I'm just looking to do a story. That's all? Yeah. Hmm, that's cool. Who are you? I'm a writer. He's an alien. Now, wait a minute. Are you an alien? Hold up, boys. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Rafe, take a look at this. It's Cade Foster. He's the alien hunter. Dig it. He's the one. Forgive me, Cade. I... I we didn't know. <laughs> yeah. We were in Bakerstown. Had this little dust up in this bar. Reefy took care of that sucker. Well, he tried to kill me, so I hit him. And he hit his head on this table, and all of a sudden, he dissolves. Freaked us out. Big Mike's a cyber surfer. He told us of your journals. You read the journals? Oh, yeah. You inspired us, man. Why Crestline? The alien I killed, he had this, this pocket computer on him, and uh, Big Mike cracked the encrypted code and found evidence that there was aliens in the crash line. No disrespect, but I met a woman in town who said you guys were scaring the crap out of the townspeople. Well, we're just misunderstood. You can relate to that. I sure can. Cheer up, buddy. 
I got something for you. One of my boys, now the aliens got him. Now his bike, it's your bike. by the handle apostles yeah oh no what these guys got warrants galore well hey man so do i assault reckless endangerment aggravated battery assault with intent to kill oh man they're on our side eddie i'm not so sure that's a good thing how can you say that we bust our asses 24 7 trying to wake people up and now you want to get picky picky this isn't exactly the creme de la creme of society you're talking about a gang of motorcycle thugs you know what eddie you're a real killjoy. Look, I just don't want you to draw any more heat than you already got. This might be the break we've been looking for. Try to have a little faith in human nature, will you? Hey, look, it's not like I'm trying to rain on your parade, but our credibility is at stake here. I gotta go. I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, we got an address for Nick Randolph. 146 South Norton Drive. Had a boy watching over ever since we snuffed him. There's people there. Or should I say there's aliens there? It's time to pay a visit. Come on, let's go. Let's settle go, boys. All right. Settle up. <laughs> you first, I follow. Call the state capitol, explain our situation. We need the National Guard. Yeah, that's right. There isn't enough evidence and threat to merit 24-hour National Guard protection. We can't even find Nick Randolph's body. 
Oh, that's because they buried it up in the woods. I'm going to shoot one of these sons of bitches. Calm down, Harry. All due respect, but you and the deputy aren't enough to protect us. State police captain said they'll send a squad down as soon as they repair the bridge wash out on Route 5. Oh, well, what are we supposed to do till then? We're sitting ducks, Randy. We have to defend ourselves. I got my deputy, Jeff, out on patrol. He sees a hint of these apostles. He'll call the state police real quick. On how long is that going to take? Figure with the bridge washed out, it'll take them a couple hours. Well, that's a couple hours too long. I say we get a group of people together and we search the woods. Let us do the policing, Harry. I got a right to defend my home. Defend your homes and your businesses. You have every right. But I won't have vigilantes running through this town. Now I'm going to be shooting first and asking questions later. Hey, Missy. Harry's riling everyone up. Yeah, well, that's Harry. I'm going to protect this town. And bet on it. I know you will. What are you going to do? Call up Denison Creek, see if I can board a couple of their deputies. I volunteer. Sorry, sweetheart. I can shoot as well as any man in this town. Better than most. Call me old-fashioned. You're too important to risk. <laughs> Two suspect aliens got away. But so far, there's no reports of them leaving town. Well, there's lots of places for them to hide. Damn straight. So what we gotta do is we gotta go in through town, house to house, and smoke out these sons of bitches. I got a better idea. I found this last night in the house. What the hell's this? Quartz Crystal. A woman in town said that Nick Randolph's company was mining these from the foothills. So what's your plan? Well, maybe these crystals have something to do with why the aliens are here in Crestline. If so, maybe I can have Eddie check company records. Eddie, the guy who publishes the uh, Paranoid Times? Yeah. I like Eddie. So do I. <laughs> well, checking records is cool. But in the meantime, I think we should probably uh, start on the house-to-house -house search. Well, we're going to be careful, right? We don't want anybody getting hurt. This is war, man. I'm just saying, we gotta be careful. Let me ask you a question. If you could have prevented all the deaths of World War II by killing 10 innocent civilians, what would you have done? 10 people against 50 million? I guess. How about a thousand? I guess. Then you see my point. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for the greater good. And where do you draw the line? I read your journals, Cade. In the first day of the alien invasion, 19 million human beings will die. I'd say I'd draw the line pretty high. Got an alien? I didn't shoot him, Eddie. They did. Where? How? The address is 146 South Norton Avenue. I want you to access county records. What for? Let's see who bought that house. Also, I want you to check for any large land claims, mining permits, or property taxes for the Foothill region off Route 234. No problem. Hey, I think you're right about this. This could really be our big break. You just hang tight. Relax. It's going to take me a couple of hours to hack into the municipal system. The sooner the better. What's wrong? What do you mean? It's not grouchy. I'm not grouchy. Last night you were on cloud nine. Last night I was on eight beers. Uh-huh. I want you to check for any crystal mining in the region. What kind of crystals? Oh, uh, something I found in the alien house. Looks like a plain old eight-sided quartz crystal. That's impossible, man. What? Well, the quartz crystals are extremely common in that region, but they're hexagonal. Six sides, amigo. Not this one. This one has eight, buddy. Freaker. I'll do some digging into that, too. I gotta go. 
What can you do with an eight-sided crystal? Go shoot! You're back. Hi. Find anything? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I know the biker's methods may seem a little rough. Did you hear they did over at Phil Olson's last night? I was there. It's hard to believe, but there's a chance these guys may actually be doing something good. Are you nuts? What if I told you there was a conspiracy here in Crestline? Perpetrated by a group of criminals far worse than the Apostles. Who invaded this town long before the bikers ever came. And the bikers were aware of this group. We're trying to bring them to justice. You call beating and maiming people justice? I'm asking you to consider the possibility that their goal is valid. Let's pretend it is. What gives them the right to storm houses? It might be necessary in order to catch these criminals. So you're saying that to catch criminals, criminal behavior is allowed? Well, not exactly. You're saying the ends justify the means. And you're wrong. You don't break the law to preserve the law. talked about checking records. Hey, man. Opportunity knocks. I gotta go. Hey. Not so fast. I know you. I don't think so. Yeah, I do. I just got one of those faces. This is Dylan Chase. He's from Independent Biker Magazine. Nice to meet you. So long. Those bikers said they got two suspects. Whatever that means. Okay. Go back to your store and lock up. I'll call the state police. I'm looking for a Mr. Griffin. Speaking. Howdy. I'm from Crestline. I understand that you have a number of mining claims around here. Yep, but if you're looking to buy, you're too late. I just sold them. Well, so I understand that. I was just wondering why you sold out. I got a good offer. Some fellas came out of nowhere and give me my asking price. I'd been a fool to turn them down. Uh, at least that's what I thought at the time. What do you mean? Well, I don't know if you know anything about crystals, fella, but they got eight-sided ones. I've never seen anything like it. Didn't think it was worth squats when I made the deal. Wish I'd known then what I know now. You got any idea what you can do with an eight-sided crystal? No. But I'm starting to find out. Hey, you gua. Might as well fess up now if you are. Would you be kind enough to take off his gag? know anything. Shut up. Why'd you run from the house last night? I don't know what you're talking about. The house on Norton. Why'd you run? I don't live on Norton. No. Are you Gua? No. Liar. Hey, take it easy. What the hell are you doing? This isn't the way. Please, just let me go. Why are you doing this to me? You can tell someone's an alien if you cut them and they heal. What are you talking about? You read my journals. The Gua have some kind of self-repair mechanism. Their wounds heal on the spot.
<laughs> to save the savior. See, Paco? Me no like aliens. Take off his gag. What's going on here? What happened to that man? Are you Gua? Gua? I don't even know what that means. Nice try. Mistake. I feel bad about that. But I can't let that stop me from doing what needs to be done. What exactly is that? Busting the people's houses? Finding whatever aliens are in this town. This isn't the way. What's the way, Cade? Handing out questionnaires? Come on, man, wake up! Innocent people shouldn't have to die. A few innocent people have to die. You, me, him. That's Darwin, man. That's just the law of survival. Let's go, Rafe. You coming? No. I respect you, Cade. But sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for the greater good. It's just the way it is. Let's move out! One of them disappeared right in front of my eyes. Thanks, Jeff. Okay. I sent Jeff up to Devil's Wasteland. He didn't see any bodies. What about Harry? He was lying there dead. Jeff didn't see Harry. Well, they must have hit his body just like they did with Nick. Melissa, are you sure you saw what you said? I know it's crazy, but they were talking about aliens. I'm not lying. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm not saying that at all. Sometimes... Mind complete tricks. No way. I was there. I've done everything humanly possible to protect this town. Declared a curfew, call the governor's office, the state PD, even the FBI. So we just have to wait? What's my alternative? Start a war with these hoods? Yes. I'm a peace officer. My job is to protect lives, not endanger them. When reinforcements come, these cowards will get their due. We're right, Eddie. These guys are bad news. I have more bad news, brother. That mining company that Nick Randolph and his Norton house buddies worked for shut down this morning. What a surprise. But I did find out some information about quartz crystals. The primary component of crystals is silicon dioxide, which is often used in computer technology, communications, electronic frequency control devices. Go on. Scientists have long speculated that an octagonal crystal, if such a one existed, could potentially be engineered to conduct and transmit up to seven times the information of a standard silicon chip. That's it. They're mining those crystals to improve their communications and computer capabilities. Hey, you think you can get me about a dozen of those crystals? I can have them analyzed. This shouldn't be a problem. And then get the hell out of there, huh? Last thing a guy like you needs is to be seeing the company of murderers. Yeah, thanks, Eddie. I followed you up to the biker's camp. I saw that man disappear. He wasn't human. What are you talking about? A disappearing act so they don't leave a corpse behind. Who's they? 
Aliens. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what the apostles are doing in Crestline. They're hunting a force of aliens that are here on Earth. So am I. I was part of an alien experiment. I need your help. I need some of those crystals that you have in your store. I think the aliens are using them in an experiment. Will you get them for me? Get me some help here, damn it. These bikers are completely out of control. I can't stop them myself. Send reinforcements now, or we're gonna have a whole lot of bloodshed. Can I help you? Those bikers killed a man. You're talking about Harry Chake, and I've already heard about it. There's half a battalion of state police about 15 minutes away. Good. Mr. Chase. Yeah. Why are you here? Writing an article. Sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Because there's something about you that sets me on edge. I don't know what it is. Call it a gut feeling. But I got a vague suspicion you're not telling me the truth. It's like I said, Sheriff. I just got one of those faces. If that's a crime, you let me know. I've done some checking. And if you aren't who you say you are, I'll be on you. Have a nice day. this whole town. This place is full of those crystals you're talking about. Yeah, it looks like we found an alien. Hey, hold on a second. No, no more waiting. We may be fighting the same war. We have different battle strategies. You stay out of my way. Let's go. your gua and your death will be painless. You're crazy. Flattery will get you nowhere. Let me go. Are you gua? What are you talking about? Tell me about those crystals you have. I told you I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody move! Let the woman go. Big mistake. You let her go or I'll kill you. Thought you didn't kill humans. Don't test me. Why are you doing this, Cade? We're on the same team. If she's an alien, we'll find out my way. What's your way? You still haven't told me. I'll get you for this. You can mark my words. Do it. Drop the gun!
What about the sheriff? Forget the sheriff. Foster's going down. Let's see if the sheriff's battalion has arrived yet. Where the hell's the deputy? Come on. What do we do? We get the hell out of here. You're protecting an alien, Cade. That makes you a collaborator. Go in the store. Not a chance. Did you say that? You lost sight of our mission. Biker lost says I gotta run you down like a dog. Better go. Why? Randy! Put your hands up! Don't make a move! What are you doing? He's a murderer. Don't listen to him. Move away from him, Melissa. Take your gun out of the holster, put it on the ground. Take it out! What's going on? Put your hands over your head. What are you doing, damn it? I think we found ourselves our alien. Get in the truck. Get in the truck or I'll shoot you right now! No. Well, listen, don't. He's one of them. What are you saying? The aliens have the ability to heal real quick. He got shot back there. Now there's no wound. I know this man. You don't know him at all. Melissa, he's a wanted killer. Shut up! Please, put the gun down. Get out of the way. No. Melissa, please. You'll have to shoot me. Move away! You won't kill me.
would have died either way. And the Gua went free. <laughs> this is your way. You gotta lose the war. way to destroy evil simply to crush it without regard for who gets hurt? Is innocent life a necessary casualty of war? Nostradamus said that the method must be chartered, and on this day my method came clear. To take a life is God's decision. If God even exists, it's not mine. I cannot, I will not shed innocent blood, even if it prolongs the terrible battle that lies ahead.